everybody, uh, this is Martin from Blue Wave Swimming School. Uh, thank you very much for watching this uh, live video. I have Ulrika with me and she's the author of this book, Happy Baby Swim. It is recently been published out and it's based on her experience of working with babies and toddlers and running her own swim school. So I'm going to let Ulrika to give a bit more um, uh, overview of what she's done over the years and also why she has written the book. Over to you. Oh, thank you. Sarah? Um, well, an overview of what I've been doing. You know, I was educated until something t completely different. But you being a from marketing background, aren't you? No, actually not, but graphical design yeah. and illustration. But being a swimmer, I was dragged back into the pool. Uh, and uh, so you my come from competitive swimming background. Yes. Okay. Yes. So uh, and I started coaching and then teaching swimming and from that doing baby swimming. When my own son was little, I understood the power of the communication that we were having and the bonding time we were experiencing in the water. And how old is he now? He is 25. Oh, so we go back to 25 years <laughs> yes. ago when you discovered. Well, I discovered more because more before that, I was much more into the skills. I saw an early movie of Igor Tchaikovsky and how these children were jumping from the ten mm -hmm. and down into the water and swam up and back to the pool wall. And I thought that my baby's going to do that when I get kids. But then you become a mother and you understand that well, no, <laughs> that's not so important and maybe not jumping from the tenth, actually enjoying and also following them along on their journey mm -hmm. of learning and how much they are teaching us. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, so uh, then you ran your own swimmer school for how many years? Yes, I started out in 1994. Mm -hmm. and first in Sweden, yes? First in Sweden and then opened up in Denmark. So I was one of the first that actually had a, a swim or swim school running in two different countries. Um, and then I, at, in 1996, when my son was three years old, I changed my swim school. So instead of actually the parents leaving the pool, I invited them to stay along. Mm -hmm. So that has also been a, a big, tremendous change in how to view swimming. Shift in the yeah, it's, and it's, I think that it is because we're realizing much more and more how powerful the relationship and how much children are learning from the attachment person or the persons that are most important to the child. Mm -hmm. And the more we engage in that, the more a child will learn. So, yeah, that leading on to when attachment came into the picture, I was really interested and intrigued to get, I could see the water playing out as a perfect arena for building strong attachments between parents and children. Okay, I see. And may I ask you why you have written your book? Well, why I wrote the book was actually because if you, if you look at at the market there are many good books in swimming on swimming or baby swimming but most of them are written for teachers and teaching parents for 25 years uh, I realized that there's something missing here and we needed to address the parent because the more we educate the parent the more parents know they can grasp the world of wonder and get any more out of swimming together with their children. They kind of open the eyes for how much you can actually gain from so the swimming. So it's quite a useful book for parents, yes? It is absolutely written Available for parents. Available on Amazon, by the way, <laughs> yes, <laughs> if is. you wish to have a copy. <laughs> yeah, definitely. <laughs> definitely. And it's also, I mean, as a teacher, being in the pool myself, and you know that maybe too with your staff of teachers, that you're there for the 30 minutes lesson and there's only this amount that you can tell them for not talking away the whole lesson. Mm -hmm. But you also know that the more parents know, the more the babies gain. Uh, yes, um, okay. And um, one question I need to ask you, 
is about attachment. When I was going through your book very quickly, of course, I noticed that you have emphasized quite a lot on attachment yes. and how it is important to have a, a secure attachment and also how long it takes to have a secure attachment. And consider that in these days people are really rushing from one place to another. People want to, you know, these days we push a button, we get a coffee, we push a button, they can uh, order a cab, we push a button. So everything is push a button and instantly happens. So what sort of advice do you have for parents these days in regards to um, when they start off the journey of swimming with their babies? Because, you know, people think of swimming as a, you know, you start kicking your legs, moving your arms, blowing bubbles and this is swimming yeah. but we know baby swimming is not really that is it and okay. what is it and what's your advice for parents on that oh that's when your child is born they are born with all the emotions but they don't have words for them yet and that the child experience that we can mirror their emotions like we can soothe them out from being scared or sad or helping them calm down in that being happy, eliciting joy, sharing joy with them. That is actually the business trust and attachment. And how long it takes, it's, you say, well, if you really read the literature, it's around, it starts from birth and then around eight months of age, that's where the attachment bond is more or less formed. And you start out with one, one or two carers, there are the primary carers to the child. And that attachment bond, bond then grows out to a bigger network. Mm -hmm. So, and in the water, because of the water, you're there totally together. In this prime time, you're meeting each other in the water level. You are learning so much about your child and you have focus on your child. You see and can share their interest. You can unfold the world for them and also learn to know about their world, what they are interested in. And that is things that actually contributes to this. And along that you feel that you're a significant person for each other. And many talks about the attachment bond being something for the child to attach to their parents, but it's as much for us to attach to our children. Okay, so um, you definitely don't advise rushing through things, oh, no. taking time, and trying to make sure that um, this is a this, these are the moments that they should be cherished, should be celebrated, and rather trying to have the end result all the time at mind, trying to figure out when my child is going to swim, how long it's going to take for my child to swim, try to enjoy the journey. Is that right? The, completely. You got yeah? that perfectly. <laughs> yes, definitely. And it's also every kind of, well, now we have research that actually, we have the Harvard um, developing, uh, developing child that has come out, or they, not the, I'm sorry. Child development? No, development? it's not, no, no, it's um, more uh, on the human development. It's an 80 year old study. It's, and what they say, what really contributes to happiness and success in life is actually relationships. And relationships, you can't rush those. Yeah, you need exactly. to spend the time. There's and also there's another thing in it. If you're kind of rushing through, the message that goes between the lines to the child is that I'm probably not good enough or I'm not doing things good enough. Mm -hmm. But we need to trust the process of their learning. They're born curious to learn and they want to engage with their world because they want to be good in this world. And if we join on that journey, it's, that's going to be, we just need to trust the process in that and create the great learning environment. Oh, very good, very good. And um, I just want you to address the people that they are looking at this live video yeah. and just uh, Give, just imagine, I'm sure you have seen so many parents that they walked through your facility, they came to your lessons, and it was the first time, whether they had a baby, a toddler, a preschooler, a young child with them, and maybe they were as nervous as somebody who wants to take the first driving lessons themselves, but they are not really admitting it. Oh, yes. Uh, so, uh, just uh, And it's okay to top, be nervous. Yeah, give and then top that thing, tips. Top tips, I would say, you are the best for your child. Your child would never choose anyone else or any other hands. 
uh, any other company to be with. So just that you are there together with your child. And then also, I mean, that you are nervous, it's okay. But just take responsibility of that nervosity and then do enjoy your little child's eager to explore its world. And the third tip, well, enjoy the journey. It is going to be a fantastic one and it's short. You think that it, it feels, and when you are with small children, you feel like you're going to be there forever. But suddenly, I mean, my children, they are 21 and 25. It goes so quickly and you wonder what happened. <laughs> I know many say that, but it's true. So enjoy that journey. It's never coming back again. And what you do and what you experience together now, that is going to be memories for life. Okay, thank you very much. Hopefully everybody enjoyed this. And uh, just a token of appreciation. This oh. is um, a, a gift from Blue Wave Swimmer School. I, over the years, actually I know Enrico for many years. Um, I think we met about four years ago, five, maybe six years ago. Oh, look at that. Actually in Sweden. And um, since then I have um, spoken to her both socially and professionally in different conferences we even met up you know outside of conferences yes, yes. and uh, it's always a joy talking to you and it's always educational there's always something for me to learn from you and i really want to appreciate that and yes. say thank you thank you and um, i must say likewise you always ask the good questions and you never you really push i love that <laughs> thank you for that thank you for very much for that and look at this. Thank okay, you. so baby a toddler, a baby, yeah. um, you know, swimming with your uh, little ones is always a joy. It I is. can guarantee that. <laughs> I've also experienced it with my own daughter. Yeah. But thank you very much and goodbye. Goodbye.